quick little video. I'm not sure if you can see. This is my medium floor fiber, super dirty. Actually, I'll put the little light on. <clears throat> medium floor fiber here. See how super dirty it is? Cleaned up all the mud from the floors at this property that had a uh, flood in the basement. And so what you do is you put your fiber in the water, massage it gently with your hands like this, especially if you need to go back to clean more. Roll your fiber, squeeze it out, get as much dirt as you can out of here. So you can see the fiber is still dirty, not bad, but still better, way better. That's how much dirt comes out of the fiber. So I'm gonna pour this out, see that? That's all the dirt and mud that lifted off that floor. I'm gonna rinse my bowl here, make it nice and fresh. And then once you do that, you can go ahead and rinse with hot water again. Remove some more of that dirt that's on your floor system so that you can keep using it. I am done using it now because I did it multiple times and this is the very last of all the rinses. So see how I'm doing it this way? Roll it, squeeze, put your hands together. It's not very difficult to do. Go ahead, see all that dirt? That's the second rinse from all this dirt from the fiber. I might do it one more time because this fiber, the medium fiber, is so absorbent, it picks up and grabs. So because I'm using a bowl here, I'm able to actually put pressure by squeezing down like this to again, release more dirt that's in my fiber. So here we go. One more, that's three bowls full of dark, muddy water. And as you do that, you can see the fiber is coming back to the original color, right? Massage it like this, put some water in that fiber. Go ahead, put it back in the bowl, continue to massage. So sometimes I use both my hands like this and just squeeze and let all that water release the dirt from the fiber. It's pretty incredible that this one fiber holds that much dirt. Okay, so squeeze and you can see the colors coming back to that normal color again. Rinse out. <laughs> Unbelievable. You could easily wash this in the machine, but there's so much trapped in there because of the mud that was all over that I would rather do it by hand so that I'm letting go as much as possible, right? So there we go, one more time, a couple more squeezes, and you can see the water, the water is not as dark as before. It's lightening up quite a bit. And there we go. Squeeze, 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 and there we go. Look at the color, how much better it is. And guess what I'm gonna do now? So I'm gonna drop this out. Is that three or four? Four now, right? So now, the magic of the Enyo Orange Blossom Soap. Or, if you want to do the laundry soap, you could. The laundry soap is definitely more, like more concentrated, but also more powerful than the Orange Blossom Soap. So there we go. Number five. So now I'm going to put my fiber down into my bowl. I'm going to, actually, you know what? I'm gonna do it in the sink to show you. So take your fiber with your orange blossom soap right here. And because there's so much dirt in here, I'm going to drizzle over the surface a little bit more than I typically would on any fiber. And then I basically massage the soap into the fiber. I wanna be able to allow the soap to do its work by removing that dirt different than just the hot water. This is washing out of the fibers. So I'm gonna wash out the fibers so that I can use them again until my laundry day. This is only the orange blossom soap. I use my fingers, to massage it into those fibers there. And then what I'm going to do is show you, see that? Look at how good this looks. This is before orange blossom, this is after orange blossom. So now that I've massaged it in here, 
I want to show you there's the soap part that's the non soap part okay I'm going to rinse out only with my bowl the side that I washed okay so I'm gonna do half so see how this is dirty this is the half that I put the soap in so I'm gonna wash that out watch this and again use the pressure of the fiber rubbing one side with the other side you can grab that little pocket that's at the back here and you can gently work the soap in with the water you can see some bubbles it's only because I'm using the water and there's the friction there between the two but that's basically how you're massaging it and adding that okay so now I'm going to squeeze out squeeze out and go ahead and do a squeeze because I want to show you there's the dirty water with the soap but now look at this is the side that I put the orange blossom soap and this is the side that I did not see the difference oh let me move this out of the way orange blossom soap clean dirty see that dirty clean I'm going to rinse that really well one more time get that dirt all out of there but this is why the orange blossom soap is so effective so now I'm going to dip this in here and go ahead and wash the other half so I'm going to again go in this is basically the final wash of the fiber I'm going to massage it together it's like washing your hands so I take my hands put it into the pockets here and basically massage one against the other. Once I'm done this step, I will then launder it. Sometimes I don't do this much of the washing, but I need to use the fiber again. So I'm going to wash it out really well so that I can use it one more time on the laundry room now. So use the sides. It's a little bit more work by hand but it's so worth it, especially if you need to use it again. So now back into the water. It smells beautiful. It's got a beautiful orange smell. It's very, very mild. It's not like the commercial stuff that you buy. It's amazing. So then squeeze, squeeze. See the dirt? That's how much more dirt came out of the fiber. So I'm going to pour this out. Rinse really well. One final time to remove the soap now and the rest of the dirt that's in the fiber. I'm using hot water. Back in the bowl. This is the only fiber that I actually really have to do this much washing by hand and only because of the amount of dirt that was removed off of the whole basement at my friend's house. So see that water? So I hope this helps you to understand how effective the fibers are. Also how effective the orange blossom soap is. There, see the water? hardly any dirt left in here and that's all because of the hand manipulation like this under the water putting pressure on the fiber like the olden days like your grandmother would have done put the fiber against the other massage that out and then you can use it again So here's how clean the fiber is. Amazing, amazing. Now I'll be able to use it again. Rinse out the water. Water is pretty diluted now. Not so muddy. There we are. Your fiber is ready to go. That's how you wash your floor fiber by hand using the orange blossom soap. Have a great day, everyone.